At about the same time, the Saudis announced that the Houthis had attempted to attack a Saudi oil tanker with a remote-controlled boat. Earlier, on January 30, 2016, the Houthis attacked the Saudi Navy's frigate Al Medina with a remote-controlled boat, killing two sailors. While the Houthi threat has upset Red Sea users, Turkey and Egypt would like to use it to increase their influence in the Red Sea region. From a strategic point of view, both countries cannot rest assured that control of the Red Sea will be left in the hands of someone else. The British later reduced the importance of Suakin to the construction of Port Sudan, 60 kilometers north of the base. Al Jazeera reports that Saudi Arabia and its allies, particularly Egypt and the United Arab Emirates, are not happy about the re-establishment of Turkey's naval base in Suakin a hundred years later. In an article in the Arab News, Abdelatif El Manawi said that the Red Sea was very important for the national security of the Arab countries. Somali pirates continue to be captured. But now with the deteriorating situation in Yemen, ships sailing south of the Red Sea via the narrow Bab el Mand route are under threat again. The newspaper reported that Egypt had sent several troops to Suwa, a military base in neighboring Eritrea in southern Sudan, on January 4. Al Jazeera reports that Sudan has deployed thousands of troops in the Kassala area on the Eritrean border. At the same time, Sudan's Asaiha newspaper quoted Ethiopian sources as saying that Ethiopia had also gathered troops on the Eritrean border. It should be noted that the relations between Eritrea and Ethiopia are very fragile. Eritrea became independent from Ethiopia, and both countries fought two bloody wars. Although Ethiopia is predominantly Christian, Eritrea is predominantly Muslim. Eritrea has good relations with Saudi Arabia. Eritrea has allowed the United Arab Emirates to establish naval and air bases at the port of Asab in the Red Sea to help fight the war in Yemen. Ethiopia suffers unrest over Saudi and Emirati military rallies in Eritrea this time. Ethiopia is even more upset about sending Egyptian troops to Eritrea. Ethiopia and Egypt also have a history of unrest. Egypt is dependent on the Nile River, so is Sudan. The source of the Nile is in Ethiopia, where Ethiopia is building a dam called the Grand Renaissance Dam. Despite Egypt's strong opposition to the dam, Ethiopia is moving ahead with the project, which has worried Egypt. The whole of 2017 goes to a debate with Ethiopia over the Egyptian dam. Surprisingly, despite being a downstream country, Sudan did not take a strong stand against the dam, which is why the dispute over water has continued in Egypt. Although the deployment of Egyptian troops on Eritrean soil is now seen as a retaliation against the construction of Turkish naval bases, Egypt has no intention of intimidating Ethiopia, no one can swear. Geopolitical competition is raging for control of the Red Sea and the adjoining Bab el Man system. Djibouti, a small neighbor of Ethiopia and Eritrea, is already a military base of the colonial power France, but since 2001 the United States has set up bases there to monitor Somalia and Yemen. Japan also set up an air base there in 2011 to take part in operations against pirates. Then in 2016 the Chinese also started establishing military bases there. Saudi Arabia is also building bases there. Almost all trade in the landlocked country of Ethiopia is through Djibouti. The location of so many countries' military bases on this important sea route has been blamed by military analysts. The rationale for so many military bases is currently coming from Yemen. Yemen's Houthi rebels threatened to target a Red Sea vessel on January 8. They made the threat in order to prevent the fall of al hudaida the last Houthi seaport in the hands of the Saudi alliance. 
At about the same time, the Saudis announced that the Houthis had attempted to attack a Saudi oil tank. At about the same time, the Saudis announced that the Houthis had attempted to attack a Saudi oil tanker with a remote-controlled boat. Earlier, on January 30, 2016, the Houthis attacked the Saudi Navy's frigate Al Medina with a remote-controlled boat, killing two sailors. While the Houthi threat has upset Red Sea users, Turkey and Egypt would like to use it to increase their influence in the Red Sea region. From a strategic point of view, both countries cannot rest assured that control of the Red Sea will be left in the hands of someone else.